Hey what's up guys, Midge HD here and I'm here with a brand new model. This is the Garuda Indonesia 777-300ER. Before I get started, I just want to say one of my subscribers uh, told me about um, the Etihad A330-200 and the new livery being released by JC Wings. Um, and if you'd watch my Phoenix new release video, I said I might get that one from Phoenix, but because uh, I've got word that it's going to be coming from JC Wings, I'm not going to bother getting the Phoenix one, I'm going to get the JC Wings one. So, just to let you guys know. Anyway, continuing on with this model. Make sure you check the description of the video so you don't miss anything. Or if you have missed anything, it's uh, it's going to be down there. My social media, my Facebook and Twitter will be down there. And so will the website I pre-ordered this from, which was wafflecollectibles.com. So this is my 17th 777 model and it's my first Garuda Indonesia model. Some information about Garuda Indonesia. The operation space, uh, sorry if I get any of these, or sorry, uh, sorry if I pronounce any of these wrong, um, I'm going to try my best. So the operation space is out of Sokano Hatta International Airport in Tanjurang in Banten, Indonesia. Main hubs are Sokano in, uh, Hatta International Airport. New Rai International Airport and Sultan Hassanuddin International Airport. Secondary hubs are uh, Kuala Namu International Airport, Juanda International Airport, and their focus cities are Sultan Aji Muhammad Sulaiman Airport and Adisusipto International Airport. Sorry about that one. Um, they were founded on the 1st of August 1947. Is KLM into into Insula uh, Bedriff. Fleet consists of 136 aircraft as of the 27th of June 2015, and seven of these are the 777 300ERs, and there are three more in order. They have 102 destinations worldwide, international and domestic. The 777 routes are from Jakarta to Jeddah, Jakarta to Dembasa, Dembasa to Tokyo and Narita. Jakarta to Amsterdam then on to London Gatwick and that Jakarta to Amsterdam route is their longest route Their first flight uh, for this aircraft uh, Was on the 9th of October 2013 and it was delivered to Garuda on the 31st of October 2013 This aircraft was at least from Guggenheim Aviation Partners and the Boeing customer code for Garuda is U3 Alright, so let's take a look around the box Garuda Indonesia picture of the aircraft and one of their uh, flight attendants and then you see the licenses at the bottom let's take a look on the back just plain old back and flight 200 and some warnings have a look on top of the box some pictures there and some of the information some of this I didn't actually realize there's information on the box um, I did all my research online, but then I found this on the box. So if you want, you can pause, pause that there, and then pause that there if you want. Just some information if you want to read it. And exactly the same on the bottom, no change, so I'm not going to waste the time on that. And now let's take a look inside. And this does come with a stand, by the way, so that's pretty cool. And there's the model. And like with all in-flight models, you get a card saying what number you get. So I got number 144. Doesn't say how many were made. I uh, can't remember how many were made. But there you go. Alright guys, so the model is now out of the box. And I'll show you around the aircraft. So we'll start at the cockpit windows on the port side so you see the cockpit windows, window wipers, Boeing 777-300ER the SkyTeam logo because they're part, part of SkyTeam which is a group of 20 airlines you see the Indonesian flag because they are a flag carrier of Indonesia also by the cabin door if you can't see it, it is really tiny right there there's another SkyTeam logo and IE part of the registration on the gear door. And I have to say, for the first attempt of a 
300 ER for in-flight. They've done a really good job. I'd say it's better than Phoenix's mold. Um, they have done the 200 series, but this is definitely um, a very, very uh, great attempt at a um, 300 ER for their first time. Then you see the Garuda Indonesia titles with their logo. The G90-115B engine. Let's show you inside the engine. Oops. So this should spin. You can see the strake. It spins very easily. Very detailed engines. That's a very good sign. And um, yeah, this is really impressive so far. And we'll continue across the leading edge of the wing to the wingtip and you see the red navigation light and the strobe light and continuing along the fuselage there's registration PKGIE or Papa Kilo Golf India Echo and then they're kind of like a three tone, four tone blue um, if you want to know what that uh, delivery is all about it's called the Nature's Wing and it's a revision of their previous livery which was introduced in 2009 and uses the deep royal blue to show the wings of the Garuda which is a bird like creature that is a symbol of Hinduism and Buddhism and then the aqua blue to show the ripples of the waves upon the water so that's basically what that, uh, their livery is all about and it's a very nice livery APU very good looking APU I have to say very detailed. I think they've got a little indent. Just a, yeah, just a tiny indent for the um, exhaust. Very, very detailed. Although the strobes at the back shouldn't be sticking out that far. But yeah, very, very well done. And I will be doing a comparison of Phoenix JC Wings or Gemini Jets and um, in flights 300 ERs. Now on the starboard side, basically the same stuff, pedo tube static ports, Boeing 777, Sky Team logo, Indonesian flag, IE part of the registration on the gear door, there is the front cargo container door, the logo and the Garuda Indonesia titles, the beautiful G90 engine, and they've also, um, I forgot to mention, the inboard landing lights, it's difficult to see, but it is there and then the green navigation light on the side with the strobe back to the fuselage and there's the rear cargo container door and the bolt bin door the registration and the beautiful livery on the tail alright so let's take a look underneath the aircraft Okay. So we have the first gear, let it focus, and there we go. Coming down, we have a beacon light, hole for the stand, an antenna. Oh, sorry, my, my finger knocked the gear off. Uh, by the way, these are magnetic gears, which are good. Um, main gears, gear doors, underneath the engine, all that detail right there. Flaps, slats, aileron, the raked wingtip. I thought it would be more raked than that, but I mean it does look pretty good. Registration on this side. And down towards the APU we have another antenna, two more antennas, third antenna. So just stay focused there. This is a little hump for when there's a tail strike in the APU housing. Alright, so let's take a look on top now. We have an anti collision beacon, antenna, ADF antennas, and the overwing emergency exits. And on the wings, we have this flap, slats, ailerons, and spoilers. See the no step markings as well. 
I'd say the wings are just as detailed as JC wings. I, I couldn't tell these apart really. Beautiful wings. And down towards the tail we have the the satcom antenna, that little hump. Two more antennas. And on the horizontal stabilizers, two grey dots there. On the side as well, they are the logo lights and they light up the tail at night time. Alright, so now let's take a look at the seating of this aircraft. Okay, so there is one configuration, and so we start off with first class. There is eight open suites from rows one to two, so here to here, and then there is e exec executive, 42 flatbed seats from rows six to 16, and that is here to here. And then there is economy, 268 seats from rows 21 to 52. That brings a total to 318 seats. And that goes from here all the way to the back of the aircraft. Alright, so. Show you some of the features. Gears roll. I have to say they roll a lot more easily than, well, recently than the uh, Gemini JC Wings models uh, because those haven't been um, rolling so well, and nor, the, nor do they stay on as good. And as I said before, these are magnetic, so you can just pull them off quite easily. Um, front gear swivels, so you can turn it in any direction you want, and also the main gears tilt. And that's pretty standard on basically all the models coming out now. And here is the stand. It's actually an all metal stand, which is good. Um, but probably not so much when it's on a table that can get scratched like this one here, a glass table. So it's an all metal stand. Uh, it's got a wood look to it. It's got a plaque there, Guru to Indonesia. And it comes in two pieces, so I just had to um, screw the um, actual holder onto the base and now we'll put it in the hole there should sit nice which it does so yeah that looks looks very nice and um, by the way um, oh no I didn't take them out but um, the gear doors for this aircraft are pretty similar to that of JC Wings they're they're kind of smaller in the way that they um they are only they're more flat, I guess. And but but yeah, pretty much all the same as JC Wings and Gemini. But uh, anyway, guys, this is coming towards the end of the video now. I really hope you enjoyed. By the way, I don't trust the stand, as you can see. Um, I'm just gonna be very careful. Please, please leave a like if you enjoyed. It's a beautiful model. Uh, make sure you get it. I think InFlight have done a fantastic job um, on this this mold and the colours of the aircraft. Also, comment, tell me what you think. Tell me if you're going to get it. I do recommend it, actually. It's, it's a very nice model. Uh, subscribe for more. I have the TAM 777 up next, also from InFlight. And then I have a special unboxing, um, which I'll obviously announce once uh, that video is up. And share so other people can know about it and see if they want to get it. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. And I'll see you next time.